Hello there. So good to see all of you. Thank you for joining us. And I want to um, say a special hello to those of you who are joining us in Zoom and on Facebook. Um, we have so enjoyed doing these live story times. This is a preschool and family story time. Um, I'm Miss Adrian from Herrick District Live Library. You might um, have seen me at the Northside branch um, and we have so enjoyed seeing your faces at curbside and at the main library inside as well. Um, so I am going to start off with a couple of little reminders. We are in the middle of our summer reading, which is why you're seeing all these fantastic um, imaginative fantasy type of events. We are so excited to share those with you. Um, you can check out our calendar to see those. And um, we also have lots of things stored up for you on our Kids and Family Codex page. Um, so please go ahead and visit those places uh, and you'll see lots of great content. I am going to start off with a little song to get some wiggles out. And caregivers, if you get involved and silly with us, it will give your little ones permission to have a lot of silly fun right along with us. So we're going to wiggle some body parts. And this song is very easy. And you may find yourself repeating it at home, which of course we hope you do. It's very simple. We are going to wake up our feet. Where are your feet? Mine are way down here. Oh, there's my foot. We're going to wake up our feet and wiggle them. Can you wiggle your feet? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Here we go. Wake up feet. Wake up feet. Wake up feet. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet. Wake up feet. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. And let's wake something else up. How about our ears? We'll do some listening today. So these ears do have to be awake. Ready? Wake up ears, wake up ears, wake up ears and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up ears, wake up ears, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Yay! Okay, my ears are awake, my feet are awake. Let's go on to another song that will get us moving. This one can be a little tricky. I describe it as a tongue twister for your arms. If you, if you can wrap your brain around that, I think you'll understand. It's about some utensils and utensils are the things we eat with. It is about a knife, a fork, a spoon, and you know what this is? It's a spatula. Yeah. So we are actually going to make ourselves into a knife. You put your hands like a point knife, fork, make your hands look like a fork. My head is part of the fork, spoon, and then a spatula. And there's a part of this song that goes cha, cha, cha. It gets a little silly. It is very possible that I will mess this up. So bear with me and maybe you can do it better than I can. Okay, here's how it goes. Where's your knife? Here it goes. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha, cha, cha. I'm a knife, fork, Spoon, spatula, cha cha cha. I'm a knife, fork, spoon. I'm a knife, fork, spoon. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha cha cha. You got it? Now let's see if we can do it a little bit faster. Okay. And this will be stuck in your head the rest of the year. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm a knife. Fork, spoon, spatula, cha cha cha. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha cha cha. I'm a knife, fork, spoon. I'm a knife, fork, spoon. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha cha cha. Whew. Did you keep up? 
it gets a little tricky, but keep practicing and I bet you'll be able to do it even faster than I could there. Okay. Whew. This next part is our story. It is a story that is also a song. I bet you're familiar with some versions of this story. I'm gonna get my little old lady, super cool little old lady glasses. There we go. There was an old lady who swallowed. Now my version is not a fly. That's gross. Okay. All of the things that this little old lady swallows seems to be things that you probably should never swallow. It's a very old American folk song. So all sorts of versions have been made. There's even one about swallowing seashells, swallowing hay, and it turns into a scarecrow. So this version is my very own made up version. And it was inspired by our little seed library. You may have seen some seeds at our library. We have some grab bags available. Um, and I have a little bean seed here. And when you plant these, they grow into plants. So this little old lady in my song swallows a seed. There's some motions to it. And I promise it doesn't get too gruesome, caregivers. This is a, a very safe version of the song. So there was an old lady who swallowed a seed. And here's the part that we'll repeat. I don't know why she swallowed that seed, but she did indeed. So we'll do that part multiple times and we will keep adding on to it. And this silly old lady swallows all sorts of things and see if you can tell what's going to come up at the end. Okay. There was an old lady who swallowed a seed. I don't know why she swallowed that seed, but she did indeed. There was an old lady who swallowed some dirt. It didn't hurt to swallow that dirt. She swallowed the dirt to bury the seed. I don't know why she swallowed that seed, but she did indeed. What comes next? There was an old lady who swallowed some compost. Caregivers, you get to explain that one. Stinky stuff, but it's helpful. She, there was an old lady who swallowed some compost. She's pretty gross to swallow compost. She swallowed the compost to treat the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to bury the seed. I don't know why she swallowed that seed, but she did indeed. There was an old lady who swallowed some worms. Ooh. She didn't squirm when she swallowed those worms. She swallowed the worms to eat the compost. She swallowed the compost to treat the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to bury the seed. I don't know why she swallowed that seed, but she did indeed. Oh my goodness, she's not done. There was an old lady who swallowed some water. She was told by her daughter to swallow that water. She swallowed the water to soak the worms. She swallowed the worms to eat the compost. She swallowed the compost to treat the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to bury the seed. I don't know why she swallowed that seed, but she did indeed. Hmm. There was an old lady who swallowed some sunshine. Oh, she seemed just 
fine when she swallowed that shine, but she turned green as a pickle. Then she felt a slight tickle. Uh oh. Uh, 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 choo! <gasps> what happened? All of those things she swallowed, they are all the things you need to grow a plant just like this one. It could be a vegetable or a flower. My goodness, that silly old lady. Well, I hope you enjoyed my silly, silly version of there was an old lady who swallowed a whatever it might be. And I hope it inspires you to think about what other silly things this silly old lady might swallow. And there are tons and tons of books out there with many different versions. So see what else is out there. Now, next up, I would like to do a special froggy song. And this is another one that will get you moving. You're going to need something that you can toss around. I have a sock. It's one of my favorite props because everybody has them. You could take them off your feet or you can go run to your room grab it out of your dresser, your drawer, whatever. And I'm going to count to 10 to give you a chance to get one of your own or anything else you can kind of toss and catch. This is going to be a good coordination activity. Now I'm going to count to 10 and caregivers, sometimes we use our fingers to count to 10. It does help to have some concrete objects. It's good to learn numbers too, of course, but we're gonna count today using flowers. So I have a vase here and I'm gonna count to 10. You have 10 to get something you can toss around. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, halfway there, grab your sock or whatever you're going to do, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, one more, grand finale, ten, beautiful lily at the end there. All right. You should have something to toss around. We're gonna pretend it is a froggy. You make your froggy ribbit, ribbit. Very good. Now our froggy is going to jump from side to side. Now, if you can't quite toss and catch yet, like I did, whoops, you can just pass it from hand to hand. That works too. This is how it goes, okay. Make your froggy jump from side to side, side to side, side to side. Make your froggy jump from side to side. Now it's time to, what do froggies do? Hop, Whee! and you can hop or you can make whatever it is you have hop in front of you. Now, a little added difficulty level here. We're going to make our froggy go around your middle. Your middle is right around where your belly button is. Can you make it go around? Make your froggy go around your middle, around your middle, around your middle. Make your froggy go around your middle. Now it's time to hop. And the last one, we always save the silliest part for last. You make your froggy sit on top of your head. Oh boy, here we go. Make your froggy sit on top of your head, on top of your head, on top of your head. Make your froggy sit on top of your head. Now it's time to hop. Ooh, did it stay on your head when you hopped? <laughs> So fun, so silly. Now we have 
learn the days of the week, or you might be learning the days of the week. And I taught a while ago some sign language to go with each day of the week. So now we're going to kind of mellow out, get our brains in gear, and we'll do a song. This is the Adams Family song, but it goes to the days of the week. So the first one is going to be Sunday. This is the sign for Sunday. That is an easy one. I want you to try that one. Sunday. And the rest are the letters in sign language. And then we swirl them in front of us. So this is Monday, Tuesday. And try this one. This one is Wednesday. Looks like a W, doesn't it? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's okay if you can't do all of those. You can just swirl your hand in front of you if you like, but try to do Sunday with me. And if you can't snap, you can clap. Here we go. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Here we go. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. And now, you know Sunday, and I'm going to do another song. It is in Spanish, but it is also the days of the week. I want you to listen and watch See if you can tell which word in a different language in Spanish means Sunday. And you might even be able to tell which one is Wednesday. Hmm. All right, so this one is called Dias de la Semana. Okay. Lunes, martes, lunes, martes, miércoles. Miércoles, jueves y viernes, jueves y viernes, sábado, domingo. Did you catch that? Which one is Sunday? Domingo. Yes. So with learning new languages, it's always good to learn just a little bit at a time. But songs are also a great way to start learning a new language. Now, I have a special little game that I like to do where there's a little dog hiding. And this little dog, it looks similar to this one. It's so cute, isn't it so cute? But it's hiding in one of my boxes here and we have a rhyme that goes with it. So I have a flower box, a triangle box, and a cloud box. So since I'm holding this one, we'll start with this. And the rhyme goes like this. Little dog, little dog, where can you be? Hiding in the flower box. Let's look and see and count with me. Ready? One, two, Three. <gasps> Not a little dog. What is that? It's a caterpillar. You might see some of these outside right now. They are very happy outside. Okay, no little dog there. Hmm. Which one? Triangle or cloud? Both sound similar. Let's try cloud. All right, little dog, little dog, where could you be? Hiding in the cloud box. Let's look and see. One, two, three. <gasps> look, look, look. Oh, it's upside down. Look how cute it is. There's a cute little puppy dog with little balls in its hair. Adorable. Well, that means that our triangle box had something else in it. Let's just peek and see what it was. 
we've had just a plant day today. Lots of plants in this story time. Now we're gonna wrap up with our goodbye song because it is time for us to go. Thank you so much for joining us. And we like to end with this special song. It goes goodbye, and this is our sign for friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Are you ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for joining us and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.